Today we are delivering our Q4 and full year 2021 results in Flex LNG. Q4 was a fantastic quarter for us. We delivered revenues of $115 million, slightly ahead of our $110 million guidance. High earnings was driven by a booming spot market, which resulted in us achieving a time charter equivalent earnings of per ship of $96,000 on average. This resulted in substantial cash flow and net income of $69.5 million for the quarter. Adjusting for derivative gains, the earnings were $63 million. This translates into $1.18 per share in earnings for the quarter, and it brings the total for the year to $2.71 per share. Hence, we have been increasing our dividend rapidly through 2021, and we are declaring today as well a dividend per share of 75 cents, translating into a yearly dividend of $3 per share, which should be an attractive yield uh, of 14% given the low interest rate environment. Given our strong financial performance, cash balance at end of the year grew from $138 million at end of Q3 to $201 million at end of the year giving us ample financial flexibility. In November, we announced a $100 million balance sheet optimization program, and we also executed a lease for one of our ships, where we released $38 million in December. Today, we are announcing $695 million of new refinancings of five of our ships, with the option to add a sixth ship. This will release minimum $87 million of free liquidity, bringing the total to $125 million minimum of free liquidity released just the last three months. The LNG market continued to improve in 2021. Volumes were up 19 million tons or about 5% driven by US, which were exporting 23 million tons more in 2021 than 2020. On the import side, China, South Korea, and Brazil was the main driver on the import side. As a consequence, the spot market stayed very strong in 2021, which has also trickled down to the term market. And we took the opportunity to fix minimum eight, possibly nine ships on longer term contracts, de-risking our chartering portfolio. So while the spot market is starting on a weak foot in 2022, we have already covered 93% of the available days in 2022, and we are there for today guiding revenues for 2022 in line with the, with the healthy revenues we delivered for 2021. This gives us ample room to continue paying healthy dividends to our shareholders. We are today at 3 o'clock Central European time, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard time, webcasting, or Q4 and full year presentation. 